Hey, what's good, Cardinal fans? Thanks for tuning in. Your St. Louis Cardinals back in action tonight against the New York Mets. It's going to be a 645 game time at Bush Stadium. Kyle Gibson gets the start for St. Louis, and Sean Manaya will get the start for the New York Mets. If you keep up with the Cardinals, you know that Matthew Liberator started the game yesterday. He did okay, his 3.2 innings. And gave up a run. And having this channel, I'm always looking at projected starters as soon as I can to bring you these videos. And yesterday, for the Sunday matchup against the White Sox, I believe it was Saturday, I was getting things ready, taking some notes for the show, and Kyle Gibson was the projected starter. So he decided to give Kyle Gibson the day off because he didn't take the White Sox seriously. Hell, they were 7-26, and 26, I believe, going into the game yesterday. They beat us the day before. However, he just thought he would throw in whoever when it should have been Gibson start. And I think the rest of the team took note of that. Well, hell, they damn sure did. Offense didn't show up. Liberator and Kyle Leahy, they got through their five, six innings of work. But that's really beside the point. Ollie, didn't put the best starter in. The team took note of that, and they cashed out. Let's get back to the matchup today. Kyle Gibson gets the mound, 2-2 two and two record, 3.79 ERA. But he has had two strong starts his last time out. Both wins for the Cardinals. His last one against the Detroit Tigers. Before that, he started in a game against Arizona, kept the Cardinals in the game. And the Redbirds got the win. Sean Manaya for the New York Mets. A 1-1 one one record. 3.07 ERA. And 29.1 innings pitched. Manaya doesn't tend to stay in games very long. Through this point in the season, he's pitched five innings or less. And basically all of his starts. The Mets come off a sweep from the Tampa Bay Rays. And the Cardinals lost two straight. Against one of the worst teams in the majors. The White Sox, their record coming into the series was 6-25. and 25. They picked up two more wins against a struggling St. Louis team. But hats off to them. They took us seriously, and Oliver Marmol did not. And we can see where that got us. We're now four games below 500, a record of 15-19. and 19. Last week, the St. Louis Cardinals took two games against the Mets in a three-game series. And after losing three straight to the Tampa Rays, the Mets record now stands at 16 and 18. Kyle Gibson will come in strong. Nolan Arenado is in the locker room telling the lineup to play better, telling the lineup to tighten up, telling the whole lineup to ice up, son. He allegedly told the coaches he's in charge of batting practice now. Let's go, Redbirds. I expect a fun one tonight at Bush Stadium. I'm going to listen to the game if I can. I'll be at work. But the MLB blackout restrictions are really screwing everything up. Screwing the everyday fan over, by the way. I love baseball and I love the Cardinals. But the MLB organization as a whole. And I'm going to throw the Cardinals front office in that category as well. They need to tighten it up. They need to ice up and give the baseball fans what they need. Non-restrictive, no blackout radio for fans everywhere. Get ready for the petition because it's coming. And my name is number one at the top of the list. Come on, MLB, do better. Well, that's my rant. I'm over it. No lineup yet at the making of this video. Expect big things tonight. Cardinals versus the Mets at home. Stay tuned for the post game. And until next time, later on.